Good morning, dear hearts. We are now on lesson 37, and please subscribe. We are continuing our thread of holiness. Uh, this is the third lesson with the same buzzword, as I said before. Uh, our first lesson was, my mind is part of God's, I'm very holy. We had the lovely lesson yesterday that my holiness envelops, surrounds everything I see. Today we have my holiness blesses the world. We are learning to, we'll be learning, <laughs> we'll try to learn, to accept this idea of our own holiness. Our holiness blesses the world. Our holiness surrounds everything. And we are surrounded in that holiness as well. It is a, as I've said yesterday, a day before, this is about totality. It's a philosophy of totality. All is included, nothing is excluded that is of need or is important. The idea, going to the lesson, this idea contains the first glimmerings of your true function in the world or why you are here. That, of course, the existential question. Why am I here? So, your purpose is to see the world through your own holiness. Purpose is meaning, as we learned from Lesson 25. Our meaning here, the true purpose of why we are here, is truly for us to help to heal this world. Salvation depends on us. We'll get more of that later as well. Thus, are you and the world blessed together? There is no separation. It's not just me and the world is out there. I am part of the world. The world is in me and I am in this world. Not of the world, but in it. And the next line here says that no one loses. Nothing is taken away from anyone. Everyone gains through your holy vision. It signifies the end of sacrifice because it offers everyone his full due. And he is entitled to everything because it is his birthright as a son of God. We are due everything. Everything our Father wants us and wishes for us, desires for us. And what is that? That's everything. We are lacking in nothing. We might believe we are, but that doesn't make it true. It's simply a thought. It's a belief. And a belief is a thought that we've been watching over and thinking over and over again. There is no other way in which the idea of sacrifice can be removed from the world's thinking, which is following that, you know, and every child of God is entitled to everything because it's his birthright. And this is the only way to relieve everyone, everyone of this idea of sacrifice for it to be completely removed from the world's thinking. Any other way of seeing will inevitably demand payment of someone or something. This idea of sacrifice in this world is, well, if I have it, you cannot. That there is not full, um, <laughs> there's not full abundance. That everything, this world is limited. So not everyone can have everything. That is a false thought, but it's one that has been perpetuated by the ego for us in this world. So the belief is if I want something, I'm going to have to give up something else or someone else will not be able to have it. There's only one winner, but that's not true. In truth, we all win. We all receive. We all have. Um, going back to the lesson, um, as a result, the perceiver will lose, nor will he have any idea why he is losing, yet is his wholeness restored to his awareness through your vision. Your holiness blesses him by asking nothing of him. Our holiness is blessing the world. Our holiness is extending to all of the sonship, all of our brothers, all of our sisters. It blesses, it lands on everyone. Now here's a wonderful line and um, one of my favorites that says those who see themselves as whole make no demands which means the idea of being a victim i am not a victim of the world i see 
the idea of victimhood completely is disarmed. There's no way that I can think that I am lacking anything, that I am a victim of everything when I see myself as whole and complete. When we are able, when we shift and we allow this idea to sink into our mind, that mind that is part of God's, when we sink into that, then we realize how profound our holiness truly is. Your holiness is the salvation of the world. Our belief in our wholeness will save, bless, forgive, bring this world to at one minute because it is what is meant to be. We are all meant to know the truth of who we are. This lesson is the beginnings of us learning that. What, I, what is our purpose? What is our meaning? Why are we here? We're here for salvation of the world. We're here to bless everyone. We're here to release our judgments. We cannot have a judgment or a grievance and, a, and give a blessing at the same time. They're two separate thoughts. So we are choosing which thought do I want? My holiness is the salvation of the world. It lets you teach the world that it is one with you, not by preaching to it, not by telling it anything, but merely by your quiet recognition that in your holiness are all things blessed along with you. Don't have to go out and knock on doors and tell everyone of their holiness or try to tell them of ours. We simply walk the talk and in that quiet space that we go into, when we realize we are part of the mind of God, everyone is blessed. Your holiness, my holiness, blesses the world in the quiet recognition of the truth of who we are. Now the um, exercises, it's four, three to five minutes again, and we do the, as we have been doing, close our eyes, go within, open our eyes, look without. My holiness blesses the chair, blesses the window, this body. But then we also close your eyes and apply the idea to any person who occurs to you using their mm. name and saying, my holiness blesses you. And you fill in the blank. This is the beginning of a part of a type of exercise and practicing that we will be having more and more. We are working on learning to see the light, you know, those light, the light edges in everyone. This is also coming to the space that what we will use is vision, not sight, vision. And the blessing, learning that our holiness blesses the world is going to help lead us to that time when vision is the only way we perceive anyone. That's it for today. I hope it helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please pray. Pray for the recognition of your ability to bless and heal and be and know that you are the sinless, guiltless, perfect child of God. Namaste.